Hello. Hello, my sweet peas. <laughs> I'm Sarah Westlove. Welcome. And you can visit me at sarahwestlove.com uh, as well as Sarah West Love on my IG, which is what we're on here. And we're on YouTube over here. So, so happy to be with you. Oh, welcome. Hi. So special. And I just, um, you know, it's funny when sometimes when you guys come on, then I want to have a conversation. So we'll feel free to, to chip in and have some thoughts, but I really wanted to, um, what do I want? I know what I want. What do you want? You know, I, my heart is just really full and raw and, um, want to share with you my heart, my soul, <laughs> my spirit, which is our spirit, our heart, our soul. <sighs> we are, we are life one life we are love we are love even and especially when we don't feel like we are because the, there is only love there is only life if we are alive we are life Life is always burgeoning and happening in us. We can cover life. We can cover love. We can oppress it, suppress it, sublimate it, subjugate it, make it, try to make it just authentic obfuscate it <laughs> try to make it subservient to the that oppression that separation that perception of separation from love You know, what do we do in the face of tyranny? What is tyranny? <laughs> do you know? What is your definition of tyranny? Do you know what tyranny is? Do you know what that word means? Tyrant. A dictator and all the oligarchs. All these words of one person or people who oppress others. They are oppressing themselves and they're projecting that oppression onto others. You cannot oppress others without first oppressing yourself, your pain, and your love. And ultimately, Unless we are okay. unless we are all expressing all
all of our love. Unless we were all free of any debris, free of any clouds of covering the sun. And we are just the sun, just the radiance of pure consciousness. Pure consciousness not obstructed by duality, by separation, by otherness, by you, me, them, us, right, left, up, down, yes, no, love, hate. We are experiencing duality. The war is within. The war is within. It starts and ends right here, right here in all of us. It starts and ends here. in all of us. And understanding how the eternal consciousness, love, unconditionalness, embracing all can exist in an an experience of these opposites, these dualities. <sighs> and forget itself, forget that it's love. You don't even have to experience any severe trauma like child abuse, sexual abuse, torture, neglect, abandonment. Witnessing loved ones die in front of you, in front of us. We don't even have to experience any of those things that are just it's just terrorism which is abundant in this world the terrorism is in us all the terrorist is in us all because just living in this body it takes enlightenment it takes such attention, such immense attention every single millisecond and no, no gap between the milliseconds. The thread has to just be unbroken. We can break it and forget and return to that which is always here. The truth is always here. It never leaves us. The truth never leaves us. And just like just now there, you saw, we can get distracted. We're in the world and we're of the world. And we lose that eternal oneness, 
nothingness, openness, love, just by a little thought. Which doesn't mean we're not love, but we can get distracted so easily in just the most minuscule ways. And then we can begin to judge that. Those judgments come in. And then we judge others and we're policing ourselves and policing one another to get some sort of high, some sort of sense of importance because we don't feel important. Because the only place to feel important, the only person who can give us a sense of importance is in here, right here, right here. I said this many times in many ways and yet it is new and alive in each moment for each moment is new and alive it's different and yet the same and you were different and yet the same and I am different and yet the same And somehow, in this experience, this adventure called life, this holy, wild ride, where there is so much joy, there is so much pain, there is so much forgetting who we are, what we are. Do you remember? Do you remember what you are? Do you remember who you are? Do you remember why you are? Take a deep breath with me if you like. And shake your body a little bit in your head. Loosen your neck muscles, your shoulder, your belly, your buttocks, your thighs, your ankles, your wrists, your feet, your toes, your fingers, your earlobes, your lips. I can't do it. 
There we go. Do that. Hardly anybody likes to do that in public, <laughs> in front of anybody. It's hard enough by yourself. Singers, singers do that. They learn that. Ooh, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Some people have the most fierce, fierce challenges. It's incomprehensible to most of us. The terror that some, so many people go through. The violence in this world. Starvation, homeless. Murder. Torture. Child abuse. Theft of all kinds. Even sanctioned by so-called these institutions that get away with things. They're just run by people who are deeply, deeply, deeply hurt. And we're at an all-time high, all-time low. <laughs> it's been going on for thousands of years, this terror, this terrorizing. And there are certain segments of the population all over the world that have experienced This terror, like they've never not experienced it. You may be one of them. Because of your race, your color, your creed, your sex. You're a woman. Nine million women were murdered for 400 years, over 400 years. And what we call the Inquisition and by the Catholic Church and the Protestant churches, just murdered women, just to get rid of them. Women of all races, colors, and creeds. If they spoke up, if they had an independent thought, people aren't witches. That, that was just, you know, something they knew they could get away with was a way for them to sanction murder, assassinations, assassinating, murdering people. The Catholic Church and the Protestant Church, just right in front of people's eyes and people watched and reveled in it, entertained themselves. You entertained yourself with God, 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 whatever it is, thrones, thorns, crown of thrones, throne of crown of whatever that show is what is it throne of i don't even know that's so funny but this was real and it is real now it's happening right now all over the world in this country all over the world by whom well i just told you two organizations It was all a ploy to take people's bodies, people's health away from... Do you realize that the medical industry is less than 100 years old? What we know today that we call the AMA. Oh, you give so much credence to it. My friends, it's less than 100 years old. And it was barbaric. They were bleeding people and uh, leeches in the 1800s and... Uh, 1900s. Do you know where they learned everything they knew? From women, and some men who had traditions, 10,000 years of knowledge of plants, medicine. And they took all their knowledge. Those that took, and other, others didn't even take that knowledge. They just did barbaric, terrible, abusive things and people died. You know, 
and only men were allowed to study in these so-called medical institutions in the 1900s when they started them, late 1800s. And it was, it was uh, given to the upper classes. And then they didn't, you know, like the work. So the lower class, middle class and lower class started. And then they created the Nurses Association, Nightingale. But they were just servants and obedient. The men wouldn't let them even enter. Uh, she, Nightingale started in the Crimean War, War. They wouldn't let her and her nurses that she trained. And they were just, they were just prettied up. Basically, uh, you know, house cleaners. But they, they said, we won't enter until you tell us to. So they showed and demonstrated obedience. Obedience. This is all about obedience. Are you obedient? <laughs> That's what tyrants want. They want obedience because they don't want anyone to rock their boat. They don't want anyone to make them look at themselves or question themselves because the one thing, I'm telling you all the secrets for free, it costs money to learn this and much, so much money will never teach you this. The tyrants, they don't want you to feel. They don't want you to speak. They don't want to be reminded of, of their own pain. They don't want to be reminded of what they're terrified to think that they are, what they're not. They think so little of themselves so, so little of themselves. And it doesn't mean a tyrant is not always a tyrant sometimes. Some people are. Some people just unmitigated psychopath. And some people go in and out. All of us, all of us, many of us, I don't know everyone. I can only, I can only imagine because we're in this earth thing this earth body which is separation i mean it's the ultimate thing it's it's just pure insanity just from the get-go it's pure beauty but it's also the insanity comes when we don't have love that's what the definition of insanity is or you know in a philosophical way. I'm not talking medical. We're not talking about that. That's a different go. That's that field that's less than 100 years old. <sighs> that's somewhere else. This is metaphysically looking. Looking at things metaphysically. Greater than the physical. Bigger, broader. I am not a doctor. I can't speak of those things. I can speak from my perspective. What is yours? Do you listen to yourself? And how much of what you listen to is it yours? Is it your perspective? Is it... Or is it some perspective that was put in you, that was planted in you? How much of what you think is your fear? Your coping mechanisms? Your self-preservation? How much are we run by self-preservation? And how much, so if we're run by that, is, is that our thinking? 
if you're watching the television all the time or movies all the time, those aren't your thoughts. You're completely inundated. If you spent the last six months watching, binge watching television shows, it doesn't matter what show it is. All of those shows are brainwashing. They're subtle and not so subtle influences. They're product placements throughout every program. Every program. To eat and drink things that are toxic. If you're watching television, even if you mute a commercial, there's still a frequency coming out of the television. You're still seeing a visual. How much of what you eat is your choice? Are we eating things in order to suppress our pain, our things that we just can't cope with? You know, are you, are, are we too afraid? Do we lack, do we feel like we lack the courage, the strength? time, the wisdom to stop, to stop, to stop the noise, to stop the wheel, to stop the influences, the distractions, the inputs, and unplug. Do we feel if we unplug? And just be, stand on that mountain, stand at that ocean shore, and just put our hands out, stretch them out, horizontally, vertically, oh, in the center of our being. Just be, breathe. What would happen? What would happen? Just unplug, stay unplugged. At least from the things that don't nourish your soul. Choose the things that nourish your soul and listen, listen deep. What would happen? What if we did that, all of us? What would happen? What is the truth? Where is our courage? Where is our strength? Where does it come from? Where does it come from? <laughs> Do you ever not feel like you have the strength? You ever feel like you don't know? That you don't have the answers? That you can't find them? That you've got to find them from somebody else? What do you do when you, you know, the cravings, the mania, the addiction, the despair? How are you coping? What if you didn't cope? What if you just, what if we just bead? Is that a word? No, bead. Bead with, be with, are with, 
choose to be with. Where does heroism come from? Heroism, shiroism. Who is the hero? Hmm? Who will be your hero? Who will be my hero? Who will be our hero? Nature's hero, <laughs> my goodness. The animal's hero, the insect's hero, our water's hero, our air's hero, the whale's hero. Who's gonna be their hero? They're dying. Our lifestyle is poisoning everything, our whole world. Do you know there's barely a body of water that is drinkable because of us? Because of us. So say you're out there fighting for justice for somebody, maybe yourself, maybe a family member, maybe a neighbor, maybe a race of people that's yours or someone else's because you know we're all one. Maybe a creed, a certain religion that is yours or someone else's. Maybe you're fighting for animal rights. Maybe you're fighting for gun rights. <laughs> Maybe you're fighting for the right for the autonomy of your body. Maybe you're fighting for the whales. Maybe you're fighting for the right to have some land so you can build a, your corporate headquarters. <laughs> You know, and you want some lawyer to be your hero, to get you away. But, and, not but, and, <gasps> Any of us that know, that know injustice, 